Hey guys, in this video, we're going to create this analytics dashboard in Adobe XD. So by the end of the video, you're going to learn all sorts of workflows and tips and tricks in order to tackle these kind of projects successfully in Adobe XD. Also, the source file is going to be included in the comment below. So feel free to check it out. And if you're interested in learning UI UX design or speeding up your current design processes, I left all sorts of different links and useful resources, both free and premium in the link in the description. So feel free to check it out. But before further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's get started and let's build this uh, web app. So the very first thing that we're going to do is uh, we are going to create a art border, which is going to be 1920 by 1200. And uh, now we're going to create a rectangle on the very left side, which is going to serve us as the sidebar. Now, once we do this, uh, we're also going to create uh, some uh, text items, which are going to be for the menu. So I'm going to just start writing these out uh, and uh, I'm actually going to write them here so that this won't interfere. We could potentially lock it, but that's just the way I prefer doing it. So we're just going to have a bunch of these guys and uh, let's just uh, duplicate them uh, one by one. And I'm just going to start using some uh, text over here. So it's going to be send, this is going to be drafts. Then we're going to have the deleted. And we're going to add some icons in these in just a moment. So favorite, then we have uh, the settings and we're just going to keep the last one actually let's move the settings at the very last place we're going to have the analytics uh, right above so this is all good so far and uh, let's also create a top level which is going to be menu and let's start um, working around the typeface so for this particular typeface i'm going to use uh, lato um, so let's go over it and uh, let's just make it a little bit smaller and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to change the fill to dark so that it's going to be more visible I'm also going to change the font size in the top section from uh, um, regular to medium maybe bold let's give it a try yeah that would do and we're also going to make it just two points smaller and add a little bit of uh, letter spacing between uh, the letters so that it uh, just um, pops out a little bit more and uh, let's uh, just keep it all gray and the uh, one thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're going to actually get started and add some icons so for the icons i'm going to use uh, nucleo icons which uh, is uh, a free icon manager which you can download uh, by simply going on uh, uh, Nucleo Icons, or, or actually, let me, let me check it out. I think it's nucleoapp.com, but I just want to make sure. So just, just type in Google Nucleo Icons and you're going to find the link right away. Yeah, this is it, nucleoapp.com and uh, you can download the free app for both Mac and Windows. So that's that and uh, we're going to start uh, adding some uh, icons so i'm just going to go here right inbox yeah i mean the the email icon would work send maybe we have like some some sort of like uh actually send yeah i wanted to I wanted something around these lines hmm maybe something which is just an outline and uh, we should consider just keeping it uh, consistent with uh, the other ones. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, start adding the, the icons and then we're going to tweak them uh, along the way. So here we have drafts. I'm going to write trash for the deleted ones. Um, star for the favorites. And uh, I just want like a regular star. Um, yep, this would do. And the cool thing about light icons is that you can uh, easily change the width of them as you prefer. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, also the first one as a line icon only. 
So, all right, this is uh, this is cool. Maybe for the settings, we can use yeah, we can definitely use this one. It's going to the inbox one again, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to select this version of it. Oops, perfect. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the keyboard viewer so that you can see exactly what I'm doing at any time with the keyboard. And uh, let's just bring all of these, uh, let's center align them. Let's make them a tiny bit bigger um, overall. We'll need to kind of like tweak uh, these guys individually. And um, ideally you can use like some rulers and uh, you know match them in a width exactly. I'm just going to um, use uh, my eyes, I guess, to kind of like uh, um, see if they're working together. I think they are. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Probably want to add a little bit of a border, 1.5. Yeah, that uh, that will do. Bring these guys more on the left, and I'm going to simply vertical. Yeah, just make this a little bit um, more grayish, so they don't take all that much visual emphasis. And um, cool, I think we're we're good to go. With these guys, and uh, I want. This one to be a little bit darker, so we have a little bit more visual emphasis, and uh, the and we're going to have uh, this this one over here as selected, which is going to be the, the analytics, which is the screen we're currently creating, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. And let's uh, just select all of these guys, and uh, we're going to. Go ahead over here, zoom in, zoom in, select. And we're going to make it blue, but probably like it didn't around these lines. Yeah, this is what we're, we're going for. Cool. So, so far, so good. Let's make this one just a little bit bigger, just a little bit more on the top. And uh, we're going to bring all of the menu on the left and uh, let's uh, make the rectangle over here to show that th this one is selected. We're going to remove the border, I color tool, select the blue, and uh, we're going to essentially make this one just a little bit higher. And um, cool, I think this overall is looking good. And uh, now we need the very top section, which is, uh, or actually, let's uh, let's do one thing. Let's uh, change it the color of the artboard, which is going to be here. Let's select the artboard, and uh, let's change the fill to something around. Uh, well, I'm going to select the the blue as a start, and then I'm going to work my way back. Uh, to a color which can be sort of neutral but still having that, that blue tint in it so that it's uh, on brand. And uh, cool, uh, I think this is this is looking pretty good. And uh, we're going to use the line tool in order to create this line right here. And uh, I'm just going to bring it up a bit. Now I'm going to select the text I'm going to duplicate the text, bring it all the way up, um, but outside of the group, so I don't want it to be associated with the group. And I'm going to change this to a, just a random name. And uh, I'm going to duplicate this guy. This one on the bottom is going to be a hyperlink. So we're going to make it blue. And uh, we're going to make it also medium. This is going to be um, my profile. So pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be the, the 
call to action to go to the profile. And so far, so good. All right, let's uh, make a novel shape right here. And let's uh, just make it a little bit smaller, bring it up, be a little bit more small. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just select all of this. Oops. Okay, I'm selecting everything apart from the things that I want. Cool. That's it. And we're going to change the fill to. Huh. I thought I could uh, change it right here, but probably going to just drag and drop it. So I have this uh, a couple of uh, UI faces which uh, I downloaded from uh, um, uifaces.com. I think it, it's this. Um, just Google UI faces and you're going to find exactly, yeah, uifaces.com. So you can see over here you have like a bunch of uh, um, faces uh, you, that you can use. It. And it's a really, really great resource. Uh, I use it all the time. I just like drag and drop the face into the, the desktop. You're going to have it there as a JPEG in a small uh, format. So that's that's good. And then uh, what you can do is simply like go ahead, drag and drop it into the canvas and uh, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, pretty amazing resource. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that. I'm going to just applicate this guy right here. I'm going to create a button and uh, I'm going to simply select all of this, center it uh, and uh, just uh, center it vertically and uh, bring this guy um, down a bit. We're actually going to, to bring this one up so we can see the text and uh, I'm going to write upgrade plan and uh, we're going to center this and we're also going to make this guy bold <coughs> and uh, use the same uh, fill color for as we have uh, on the blues right here actually I didn't really catch the <laughs> exact one I needed this one yep Exactly. I'm also going to remove the border. I'm going to give it a, li a little bit of radius, not too much. Just what's enough to not make it a, a complete uh, um, non-radius um, bottom, I guess. <laughs> That's the technical term. <laughs> sure, it isn't, but just 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 bear with me. Um, all right, so that let's bring this guy here in center let's bring this one here let's bring this one to the bottom this is going to be a call to action of contact support and uh, let's center this guy let's change the feel and let's make the fill of this one to 10% yeah, that will do. All right, uh, probably one up. And uh, cool, we got uh, our side menu. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to create the actual uh, main content on the right. So we're just gonna start by creating a pretty big rectangle and uh, what we're gonna do with this rectangle is we're just going to oops, just going to extend it all of the way, and we're going to lock it in place so that we don't, uh, um, so we don't it doesn't interfere with what we're trying to do, and we're probably going to bring it at the very bottom so that yeah, it's just going to be easy to. And like move around and do stuff. Overview. All right. Cool. So 
Oh, so far, so good. Um, going to add a line over here and uh, the align is going to have the same properties as this line right here. So I'm just going to copy, right click, paste appearance. Perfect. Now comes the fun part because we're actually going to build up a graph, which is going to be quite an interesting feat. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add one of these graph items. We're also going to um, make it with this color or actually let's let's make it a full blue and uh, let's uh, just duplicate this guy. I'm going to make it really small. We basically need a vertically um, the numbers vertically. So this is going to be an interesting design, a very specific one, I guess. So yeah, let's, let's do that. Zero one. I just want to give it like a, a different feel for it. I'm not sure there's going to be many occasions where, where you'll need the, um, that specific UX, but nonetheless, it's uh, it's gonna be quite interesting. So this should be the perfect time to use the repeat tool. Um, I just uh, cannot remember exactly how to use it, so I'm gonna go the old-fashioned way as I don't want to um, look bad on camera <laughs> and. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have a look at the, at the repeat tool again. I, it's, it's super easy, it's this one right here. Um, I just want to like, give it a, a try on camera. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it was super easy. So let, let's just, let's just do the repeat tool. I mean, come on. Why would you go the other way anyways? So cool. Oh, okay, the repeat tool have this issue though. So let me, just do it the old fashioned way because you don't want to waste your time and uh, kind of like see me just try things in order to accomplish something which is very simple. And um, yeah, <laughs> I really respect your time so I don't want to, to waste it. Cool. Now that we have all of these guys, you might be asking your, to yourself, hey, what, what are you exactly going to do? I'm just going to like, uh, manually tweak these one by one and um, yeah just just simulate like some sort of um, growth or movement and you know things are going bad then they're, they're going back up and um, yeah that's that's all it is um, <laughs> there isn't any particular science behind it just moving these um, as I wish pretty much and then yeah just deciding which one is going to be bigger taller and um, yeah so I want to take this time to um, to just uh, re remind you that the source file is going to be in the link in the description or actually I think I'm going to leave just a comment with the dribble shot and by the way if I forget to add the source file by any means which happened uh, once in the past I wanted to remind you that uh, these are all going to be available on dribble anyways on my personal dribble profile so feel free to check it out and um, yeah for any anything always feel free to dm me and you know ask me questions and whatnot so yeah cool i think we're i think we're good to go i don't really like this this trend right here i kind of like want these guys to be a little bit more consistent uh, so that just creates like some some more visual interest but yeah cool i think um i think this is looking good but again, I just want to move some of these guys a little bit more to the top. Bring it up. And there you go. 
Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, a bunch of these and a bunch of these. We're going to give them 10 or 20% of opacity, maybe like 15. Yeah, let's go with 15. Cool. We're also going to change the fill of all of these uh, labels down. And uh, yeah, cool. Let's just modify these. Uh, uh -huh. Just gonna go manually to zero three. My God, this is going to take forever. <laughs> I didn't see this coming. <laughs> I wish there was a a repeat tool for <clears throat> kind of like these ones right here. So I'm just going to. Uh, you know what? Just gonna do this for the next guys, and I'm just going to repeat it for also for the other one so that they can just change the number on the top and this part is going to be easier so yeah let's just do that and we're gonna be good to go so over here it's one it's one it's one let's go ahead here let's change it to one and uh, the very specific reason why I went with this layout is um, <laughs> there wasn't any specific reason. Actually, it's not even looking good. Um, I would like to change it, but I, I'm, I'm kind of like stuck in this decision at the moment. <laughs> so let's just continue. Let's, let's pretend this makes some sort of UX sense whatsoever. Um, in your file, guys, you can definitely just go with a better solution, but um, we're having a very specific client brief in this case. So there is a very specific reason why we want to, to add the numbers like this, uh, which is unconventional, but makes sense for this specific client. So let's make uh, the assumption this is the case. and. Um, yeah, I just need to bear with a few of more, a few more of these numbers changes, and we're going to be good to go. All right, we're almost there. And as always, if you enjoy videos like this, feel free to um, like the video or check out the other videos on my channel. Um, I have like over 300 videos at this present moment. So content definitely is not lacking and I'm really looking to, to go more often with uh, YouTube moving forward and push a lot of more content. Wouldn't say daily because that's a big commitment, you know, life gets in the way and things, uh, you know, I have a very, very, very busy schedule, especially with my um, US clients, which are taking the majority of my time these days. But definitely um, I'm looking to invest more time into YouTube and uh, provide you with uh, better content. I also ordered a new camera, which is about to arrive. So the content quality is going to be even higher, especially for the freelance design videos. So yeah, that's uh, definitely something in the agenda. Cool. That being said, let's uh, create the table below and uh, after that, uh, I think we'll be ready to call it today. So let's go ahead here. Let's duplicate this line again. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just leverage one of these guys right here. And I'm going to um, use them as labels. I'm going to give it a 16 of character height. And I'm going to make the fill darker yeah just like this and probably instead of regular i want to go with medium that will be oops that will be more visible and uh, yeah let's uh, create a few more of these labels there we go and we're going to 
is going to be conversion. This is going to be impression. And this is users and stop this. Cool. Let's select all of these. Let's line them. Duplicate this line right here. And I'm actually going to duplicate it again. And uh, also one more time. Just to be sure that the spacing, okay, yeah, the spacing is top. I'm just going to remove these line, these two lines. And um, yeah, we're, we're pretty much in business. I'm going to add some uh, um, random names. Uh, um, and let's all right so i'm going to add a a face here again so let's find a face like this one this would work okay perfect and uh, we're going to make uh, the fill um, much darker Okay, perfect. Uh, and I'm also going to duplicate this button right here. It's going to be paused. And this is going to be a tag. Cool. Maybe you want the text to be smaller. That will do. Okay, perfect. So this is uh, this is great. Uh, now we're going to change the fill color to sort of a yellow, uh, orangish color. Yeah, maybe more around these lines. And that will do. Okay, perfect. Maybe just a little bit smaller. Cool. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to use some uh, elements right here. So I'm just going to copy this, paste the appearance, add total users. I'm going to add a random number. This is going to be a sort of uh, analytics uh, <clears throat> section in the app. Now let's uh, duplicate this and duplicate it again. It's going to be converted users. It's going to be total impressions. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. Also want three dots at the very end. So it's going to write here, dots. It's going to be, yeah, these ones. As Pablo Stanley um, <laughs> said, this is a uh, amazing presentation uh, these are the kebab dots <laughs> uh, you should definitely check out that guy is absolutely hilarious um, amazing amazing designer so yeah shout out to Pablo Stanley and um, yeah that's uh, I think this overall it's looking good maybe I want a little bit of less um, but less uh, visibility on these uh, these guys right here yeah overall it's overall it's looking good and uh, now let's just um, group this it's going to be row I'm going to 
duplicate them uh, two times. I'm just going to change the the values. So maybe also let's change here. Let's change here. And maybe a, a different type of like photo. Yeah, this one will do. change the fill to blue. Let's change the numbers real quick. Um, oops. Cool. So yeah, overall, I think this is looking good. Let's change the number of converted users again. And uh, I think we're, I think we're good. Um, we want also these three dots at the very end of the overview. So I'm just going to duplicate these over here and maybe align them so that they're right here. Um, but yeah. Overall, I think uh, it's looking pretty good. For some reason the border lines, I want them a little bit more light. And uh, yeah, we officially got it. So hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you have uh, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And on my YouTube channel, I have over 300 videos about UI UX design, both the freelance part of it, because I have over eight years of experience as a UI UX designer, and also covering tutorials just like this one in uh, all sorts of different softwares, such as Adobe XD, Sketch, uh, and Figma, and many more. So feel free to check it out, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.